Hello and welcome to this first OF1 tutorial. Today we are going to look at the basic layout of OF1. So what you can see here is OF1 open in the OpenEdge architect. Now let's look at the different features available. Here is your main screen. First let's explain what a screen is. A screen is a single window or a master container where you will create your program. Whether it is some custom properties that you program or just some drag and drop containers and browse and fill in boxes, this is where everything happens. Now to access your different screens, you go onto the OF1 screen tab here and there is a few options. First here you can see all of the screens I have created. These are the ones that are already uh, installed by default when you purchase OF1. Uh, however, there are a few other ones, like the most recently used ones, which are the ones I created, and a few others are available that I created here as well. If you press this button here, you can create a new screen. If you press this button here, you'll create a new subscreen, so I'll touch more on those in a different video. Uh, this will delete the screen, and this will search for a screen. So if I was to click this, it will bring up the search option. From here, you can search for various different things. So if I want to search for the build 2, as it is here, just type in and then you can see all of the tables that I searched with Bill 2. If I was to take away the bill, you can see all of the screens available uh, or that I have created. So let's search for the Bill 2 table again. Double click on it and it's open instantly. Now, one thing you'll notice when you open the screen is here you have the properties tab. This tab has all the basic properties of the screen for the moment, but if I were to double click on an item, such as the customer number fill-in box, you can see the basic properties of that selected item. Uh, you can also create your custom properties through programming, but this will be shown in a different video. Here you can see the widget library. This is all the different widgets you can use that are already pre-programmed into OF1 that you can just set uh, as is. You no need for any programming. And again, I will show uh, more of these in a different video. And you can see that if I select the container by going into this OF1 widget tab, where you can see here there are all the logical widget structure uh, of the screen. Uh, so each of the widgets, their order, um, their name, and if you click on each individual one of them, it will bring up the different properties and select it. But if I were to click on the container, you can see here the widget library changes and gives me a few different options which I will go into in a different video once more. Thank you very much for watching this video tutorial on OF1. This was the basic layout of OF1 and I hope to see you in our next video.